Yo, what's going on? This is Kevin Rempel, chapter 13 of my book, talking about the time that I was in the hospital after I had just really messed myself up pretty good. So I'm going to dive right into it. It's uh, the beginning is just waking up in intensive care. I had spent uh, three days there in and out of consciousness after I had surgery on my back first because uh, so my back was fractured and dislocated. My vertebrae were pulled and pinched and then uh, surgery realigns it. But uh, I still had a, uh, my pelvis was broken. I had an open book pelvis fracture. So if you can picture your pelvis, the bottom, it's like a big circle and the bottom of it split open. And uh, I had to wait three days for the internal bleeding to go down before I could have that worked on. And uh, then the next question is like, I get asked at speeches a lot, is what was it like when the doctors told you the words that you could never walk again? And I actually, as I was writing my book, I was kind of going through, like just reflecting on it. And the first thing that came to mind is like the scene from Dumb and Dumber when Lloyd is trying to ask Mary out. And he's like, what are the chances that we could ever get together? I'm not gonna do the whole skit because it'll take a while, but what are the chances about you and me ever ending up together? And she's like, one in a million? And Lloyd is like, So you're telling me there's a chance. And I didn't really say it with that much enthusiasm when the doctor gave me the, those words, but that was kind of like what went through my mind was that uh, he's, I'm, the doctor comes in, I'm like, hey man, what's the deal? And he says, words that I remember are that, Kevin, you're now an incomplete paraplegic and you'll likely never walk again. And if you do ever happen to walk again, you're going to have braces on your legs up to your hips the rest of your life. And the thing that I remember from that situation is that you're telling me there's a chance. And I don't care if it's one in a million. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. And what that meant to me is that I needed to give everything that I had to try and make this work. And a lesson that I would take from that to give to you is that you don't have to have the best odds as long as you have a chance it's possible whatever it is you're trying to deal with if you're trying to get over if you're trying to lose weight if you're trying to get over drugs if you're trying to go after that dream job if you want to be an olympic athlete whatever it is you're trying to do if there's one if there's a 0.001 percent possibility or a chance that you can do it too so go all in on what you have Take a risk and believe that it is possible. And that's what chapter 13 is about. So I'll be talking to you again soon. Thank you very much for the love, support, likes, comments, shares, and all that stuff. And uh, have a good evening. Talk to you later. Bye.